Just about an hour ago, I got a little bit of a scoop on this place. Not that I didn't know what was going on, but just it was kind of a refresher as well as a lot of new things that have been happening here. Now, a lot of people ask me, you know, hey, Omar, what's the scariest place you've you've ever been to? And I have like a top five, but this place is number one. And I'm going to show you why. I'm going to share with you some of the stories. Thank you so much for being here and for all your support that you have given my channel. Let's do this. This one here, yeah, yeah. the POW in my A room. Mm -hmm. Somebody just put a sticker up there, but uh, this one here, you're more than welcome to. I don't, I went in there once and I came out, my ribs hurt before I got yeah. a pair of them. Is there any story like on maybe what caused that? I can tell you there is a man and there's two kids mm -hmm. that runs around in here. The man, yeah. Okay. So we got a we got a little bully action going on in here. Mm -hmm. That window was open. It wasn't locked that day. My teammate, when we came in, we got our walk through and everything. We were fixing to leave for that day, and uh, she said all of a sudden that she had this like, voice said, "Check the windows." So we went all the way up on third, second, and we came down checking all the windows. And I walked in and I went pushed and it flung open. Oh well. And I said, this window was open. And when I shut it and locked it, came back out as I was walking down the middle of the room there, it just felt like something just grabbed you up. Huh? Fair fair and fair I got out here wow. in the hallway and my ribs were sore for two or three days. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's like a, that poke event. It's yeah. like back in October or something. I went in there and I get three steps in and I, had to, I just had to come back out. And so right. I was leaning up against the wall out here and by the time we were in there, I, I heard something come out of the stairwell. And we just, you know, like walked up. And, you know, it was kind of, it wasn't growls, but it was just kind of, you know, yeah. just hearing stuff. I didn't think anything about it. And then when it was break time, and Michelle brought the group out. Uh -huh. And then when she came out, when I pushed off the wall to step up to her, it hit me. I about hit the ground. Ooh. I got so dizzy and so sick at my stomach. It was like I had ear, like ear, 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 ear infection. And uh, Michelle, you know, as we were going out, I got almost to the door right there and had to stop. I about went down and she got me, finally got me out on the porch. I about threw up. We didn't get any better when I got outside. Daniel had to come out there. Uh, and then, you know, He's, you know, he soothes me. Yeah. And he soothed me enough where the nausea went away, but the inner ear dizzy wasn't going away. And Michelle, she did her thing. And there was something, my back was killing me, but there was something, whatever it was, it, it jumped on me. Yeah. You know, since I pushed off the wall, it jumped on me. I can tell y'all that we do not have nothing demonic. Oh, no. Yeah. Nothing. That's good. Demonic here. You might have some malicious you know what yeah. i'm saying but it's it's a lot it's a lot demonic. a lot of what i've known they they'll try to get a reaction yeah so maybe whatever was trying to i mean maybe it hurt you guys mm -hmm. was trying to get your attention yeah i, I yeah. think yeah. what it was was uh, i had been bringing glow bottles you know bottles that had the glow stuff like a glow stick in it because the two kid the kids here they like playing with them well usually i would bring a blue one and an orange, or a blue one and a red one. Well, they didn't have any anything but orange. Mm -hmm. And so I think, I think one of them was mad because me and they wouldn't, they didn't play with either one of them <laughs> all night long. I think they, I think he was mad because he didn't like the orange. Mm -hmm. You know, because I mean, it wasn't, you know, even though it hit me, it wasn't like bad. You know, I didn't, you know, even though I was sick as a dog, it, I, it wasn't a bad. Wow. Scary feeling. It was just. Is this where the balloons are messed with by the kids? Anywhere. Oh, it's all over. Yeah, we, anywhere. we normally take them down the dark side on the second floor, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and on the third floor where yeah. it's real dark. Okay. <clears throat> How do you feel so far? Uh, I feel good. I feel like definitely feel something. Yeah. Yeah. My two teammates that I'm in a group with, we are in. I'm in SRT. This is my, the team leader. He's uh -huh. the one, the founder of SRT, Daniel and Darla. They have been on Destination Beer. Neato. Here at the hospital. They came here and they were in it for a little while. 
Haven't um, like Ghost Hunters been here? Ghost event, like a lot of Ghost yes, Adventures been here. Yes, right? um, Ghost, uh, like you said, Ghost Hunters. Zach Bagans had been a long time ago. Okay, before Ghost Adventures. Yes, oh, and wow. uh, Ghost yeah. Adventures and a oh, one um, Ghost Hunt USA, TWC, yeah. Amy yeah. Burney's yeah. been here. Chip Coffee. Right. I mean, you know, there's yeah. Adam, a lot of you haven't been here. Yeah. Adam Barry. Yeah. Um, down this way, right oh, here. Us? <laughs> Jim, he loved music, which I know you knew that. Yeah, this he is made here. three yeah. different soundproof rooms. He loved music, yeah, like the old it. like CCR. This was closed off last time I came. Yeah. Yeah. I came in here, but this door was locked. Yeah, right. but it was junked up. Yeah, it was a lot of stuff, and you could barely get through here. Yeah, yeah. and that's Jim. Yeah. Yeah, he's right there. That's, here. Jim. that's Jim. Oh, that's him. I have seen Jim here. The maintenance man. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I came in, we was painting one day, and I walked out, so I took a smoke break, come back in. So as I Rest in peace, buddy. Crossed mm -hmm. the threshold right there, the main doors. Mm -hmm. I caught something move over here, and I looked, and I seen a man about this tall. I had a person walk by there. Mm -hmm. And I went around, there was only t me, myself, and, I mean me, myself, myself, <laughs> and uh, two other people here working and I went and found them to make sure they wasn't wearing what I saw. But it was Jim that I seen. Yeah. Yeah. And you can go in you can go in those. Oh, yeah. so, so, this, this one right here is my favorite one. That one over here. Right. This is all here. Yeah, so he probably would come back here. Right. And, yeah. He loved yeah. here. He loved that and he you know and he did you know do some mixing and producing for some cool. people back in the 70s. Hey, Jody. Hey, Jody. Ch check out this studio. Yeah. yeah. Jody and I have made music and, well, he's still yeah, making music. Was, uh, 14. Check out this this mic booth, bro. Yeah. Okay. 12, 13 year old, his stepfather, Beanie. Check that out, bro. Brother. Ah. That's cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yo. You know, and to me, I think it's so cool because. Yeah, they wanted to say he was such a junkie and all that, but we got the Yeah, he had skill. This is beautiful. Mm -hmm. oh, Mike, cool. check. Mike, check. Go ahead, spit some, spit some flow. <laughs> Yo, I'm making hot, man. Hot like no other. I'm just a young brother on my way to get this butter. They see me on the come up. Now they tell me run for governor. Magazines call me like they want you on my cover. Now I'm VIP. <laughs> yeah. I ain't got to pay the cover. On the marquee is Jody Dean, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. I, just heard, I don't know if Jim would heard, like that, heard, but <laughs> a bang when he's first thing. Wait, you heard something? I heard a bang out here, and then when I stepped out here, I heard a whistle. Jim liked music. Jim loves music. Yeah, yeah, bro, you were just like <laughs> serenading him. Look at this, and I have got last room down there was Jim's apartment. Every hair standing straight up. Wait, so you heard uh, like a thump? I heard, I heard a, a thump down this way, uh -huh. and then I heard a whistle. I couldn't tell where it came from. Whoa. But when he was like 12, 13, his stepfather beat him and his brother unconscious. He ran away from home at like 14, uh -huh. and he went to a junkyard and was living in a junk car. Ooh. A policeman found him, took him in and helped him get his life straightened back out. And when he turned like 17, 18, he joined the army. This is Jim. Jim. Yeah. And uh, he done this is where we his had. service in the army and, and, and oh, it was in here. Yeah, it was in it's in here. Okay, so mental note. Yeah. They had uh how many K twos were? We six K twos and a REM pod. We had a different table in here, but we had them sit in the REM pod in the middle and the K twos all around. And for I'm not kidding, I'll show you videos, but for over an hour, it didn't matter what song we played, all the K twos in sync. We're yeah, going all the way can, When you get a chance, I want to. I do want to see I, that. I, just personally, I, yeah, just whenever. Um, but he likes so, Missy Elliott. Work it, Missy Elliott. Okay. Yeah. And uh, he likes CCR. And yeah, he uh -huh. likes songs like that. Okay. Old school. Um, but he likes rap too. So he was. Yeah, he was yeah. like a Jody's rap there. Yeah. Um, but he. Uh, oh. It was through the public. The first rock tape I was on the third floor, and the group that was down here. They were using spirit box, and they asked him, you know, what you know what he wanted, and then he said, he said, Missy, Missy, and one and one of them said, 
Missy, the investigator here, or Missy Elliott? All right. said both. Both, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So he loves you. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he does. He's, yeah. Is he, it worth he's, it? He's, Let me work he's it. He's flirted with me quite a few times. Wait, he's farted with you? Flirted. Oh, far, oh flirted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I talked about my southern well, I've never heard a ghost fart before. I don't want to hear a ghost fart. <laughs> <laughs> that can't be. Not. That can't smell good. <laughs> oh, no. This is so rad, though. Isn't it awesome? Yeah. You know, I wasn't able to go in here last time because it was... Yeah, because yeah, it was just full of crap. Yeah. You know, and they say what they wanted to about, you know, him being a junkie and all that. Look at the workmanship of this. You yeah. know, and he did all of this. Well, you know, some people can still do their recreational right. bit of drugs and still manage yeah, to I mean, now, live normal he lives. Was, he was all about, you know, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Yeah, you know, is, I mean... That was the 70s, you know? Was he really a junkie, though? No, he, you know, he had, you know, issues and problems, but yeah, he, I'm sure he smoked weed and, you know, took pills and stuff, but yeah, I'll make you know, he junkie. wasn't a junkie, but I, that was just the former owners trying to build up, uh, you know. Build up the place? Yeah, just, you know, just, they, they totally disrespected him to sell tickets. Wow. Yeah. So, mental note here, uh, Jim... It's not a junkie. In fact, the rumors that were being spread about him pissed him off. And when they came in here and found the true answers as to who Jim was, he still flirts, doesn't fart, but still shows himself, but not in an aggressive way that he used to based on what people have you know, said because he got his name cleared. I mean, that's my opinion. Yeah, exactly. Got his name cleared. You know, he, he's treated with so much respect now. Mm, and he wasn't before. No, he wasn't. You wow. Know, I mean, he's my reason for me. Do you, while he's getting pictures, you want to finish the little tour? Real yeah, quick? yeah, I'd love to. I'm, I'm loving all this history. Yeah, yeah. So thanks. I don't want to keep getting into y'all's time. He said he wanted to get some pictures. Oh, no. Got. No, he's good. Wow. Yeah, and I'm going yeah. to. Thank you. I, I appreciate, um, appreciate all this time. This bathroom right uh -huh. there. It does work. The sinks don't. Oh, great. But uh, the toilets, you might have to hold the handle down uh -huh. and let it go all the way, you know, through the whole flush, but that does work. All right, good. Because sometimes when I go ghost hunting, it just comes out of nowhere, and it's like, okay, time to use the bathroom. Yep. <laughs> and it don't matter where I'm at. Okay. So I'm glad there's a bathroom. <laughs> this, and this down here, if you want to go down this way, this is the kitchen. I forgot how you can get lost here. And, uh, yes. You want me to go ahead and try to blow up the balloons? Or yeah, wait? I want a balloon or two. How about like just one or two? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, mean, if, I mean, if it's not too much trouble. No, it, it, no, no okay. I, I hope I can go blow them up. But I'll come find y'all in a minute. Great. Okay. Thank you. Um, there is some doors that's locked or it's got signs on them that's where they're under construction. Uh huh. It used to be said that there was a naughty nurse here, down in this area, that would touch a man or a female inappropriately, but they, there's not a naughty nurse. There was a cook that was down here that had got burnt, okay. third degree burn by oil real bad, and she ended up dying from her injuries later on. Oh, boy. Um... You're more than welcome to go into any of these rooms, but this one over here, no, and this right here. That would lead you down to the boiler room, but it's locked off. I've been in there, yeah. yeah. It's I, not very big either. It's, it's very not small. Real, real big, but it's still under, you know, under construction. Right, yeah, yeah for safety, um, I understand. So how did you guys come to the, um, like, realize that that story of that nurse was false? Uh, they, there is some nurses that has been coming in here. Oh, okay. They was uh, one last weekend and the weekend before that used to work here. And we're getting information from them. And also there, um, there's one, two, three, four of them that's talking to historical people. Oh, okay. And getting all the information that we can. So it's just legend and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Okay. So what has been, I mean, as far as like what you've heard in this particular 
room like have you heard any experiences like from well i know i can tell you um the other uh, about two or three weeks ago my teammate darla and i was in here we swept this whole area and mopped it and it wasn't real hot in here in this area you know because it still feels cool in here right now but we got to mopping and all of a sudden me and her both started sweating and i started getting irrita irritated mm -hmm. that there was a man's presence in here Ooh. And he was, had that, you know, like, all right, get out of here attitude, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, trying to rush you out. Yes, and yeah. we both had that. We both just broke out in sweat. Ooh. And needless to say, I heard that and got it mopped. Yeah. <laughs> but you will have a nurse in here. I can't remember the nurse's name. But oh, so it, there is a nurse that haunts it. Yes. I mean, not a nurse, but uh, the cook. I'm oh, sorry. a cook. Yeah, the cook. That got not a naughty nurse, nurse, though. No, not the naughty nurse. So the cook got burned? Yes, by her third degree, uh, by the oil, and it was third degree burn. Uh -huh. <clears throat> it sounds like if uh, Pete, when he comes in and y'all want to play a prank in here, a prank? If you want to come up in here, it will <laughs> open up. You know, well, oh, you know what? I think I think a friend of mine did get lo like locked in here for real. Really? Yeah. <laughs> He's kind of clumsy, too. So. <laughs> so that's why they got this. Whoa. Okay. Propped up and with that old, old. Because it locks you from the out, from the inside, right? Uh, from the outside. Because I mean, you can pop that and lock it. Because I mean, it will work. That's pretty cool. It's so silent in here. It's, mm -hmm. it's perfect. Cause you can hear everything. And uh, all of the our real uh, how can I say? Let's just see our. Guests that we have here, right? They they're all used to us because we're always in here working, you know. So mm. and if so, we're fresh meat. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> but let's say if y'all are at one location and y'all are not getting anything, if y'all just like talk amongst each other, they deal. They will join in oh, okay. and talk too because we've all done that, and then we can hear them. Then you know what I'm saying? Very good. So y'all are more than welcome to go down that way too. Okay. Um, here's the courtyard. I've got this open or it would be dark from here. You guys really cleaned it up here. Oh yes. Yeah. It's way nicer. Mm -hmm. I know we gotta mow the grass and stuff this weekend. <laughs> I kinda like the, the distressed look though, you know. It, yeah. I mean it's it's still manageable. It's not it's not too overgrown, yeah, but, but it looks cool. It was, oh lord, <laughs> it was bad. Well, I'm sure you guys have been getting a lot of rain, huh? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll go that way in a few moments, uh, but I'm gonna take it down this way. Okay. This here is the chapel. We have a preacher that is a volunteer here. All this stuff that he has here, he has donated from okay. his church. Something fell right there. And I, I haven't gotten anything from here, but I have heard people say that they have gotten voices and stuff in here. Really? You think there was probably a lot of people that were in here praying for their loved ones? And... Yeah, I'd say. Um, Shedding a lot of tears. Mm -hmm. you know. See this right here? Yes. This is... From here, there, back is the original hospital, which was built in 1959. And that's an addition? Yes. Okay. The first floor down there, and the second floor was an, is an addition that came in the late 70s to early 80s, and then the third floor was later on in the 80s. Great. That's great info. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, So we've got pictures of, uh, that's what the hospital looked like. Oh, nice. The traditions going on. Okay. And there's some newspaper articles down through here of the founding doctors and all down this hallway right here on this side. And over on this side is the founding doctors. I think it's the first two, they said, Haverin and Hedrick. And then Taylor... Ryan, and then it goes to the nurses. 
on down through there. This here was the original nursery. This here where it says entering biohazard area. This was the labor and delivery back when that was the um, nursery. I caught and then, something in here before. Uh, and then after they done the addition up there, yeah, this got turned into the labor, I mean the biohazard. And this will go all the way around. It'll bring you out in that other hallway down here, down that way. <laughs> That doorway right there, they used to say that was geriatrics. Come to find out that it's not geriatrics. That used to be physical therapy, and there's classrooms down through there uh -huh. on this side of the building that they taught nurses down through their nurse classes. Okay. We have a prankster down here. Okay, no, no, this is where it was at. Okay, so I was here. I forgot the name of the kid, but he brought his wonder box. He had a white wonder box. Do you still talk to him? Really? Uh, really Josh. Josh. Okay, yeah. Really nice I haven't kid. I have seen him in a while. So he came here. He was showing it to, to me, and, and we kind of played around. And while we're, like, playing around with it, something starts, like, walking towards us. And uh -huh. it's, and, like, I freaked out. And then... He kind of like free. He was like talking toward. He wasn't um aggressive towards it or anything, but like he got definitely really excited. But I don't know whatever it was was like trying to like mess with us or maybe it was curious. Uh -huh. But it freaked me the hell out. Like I, right. it, it was tall. It was really tall. Okay. Well, we do have a seven foot shadow. Okay. See, I wish he, I would have known that before. He used to be on the third floor. Uh huh. But he does. We have seen him on the second. So people have seen him too here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that was just the old fall room where they had like the x-rays and stuff like that. This doorway right here is, it'll bring you out of the biohazard. It's just a circle. Where we were just in? Mm -hmm. Okay. Imaging room. This doorway right here. Looks like the door has been moved. <laughs> um, there is a one in here that he's a prankster. He loves to prank you. Oh, I like pranks. And all this stuff right here does work. So, if you want to rent oh, it. Oh, nice. Pain, yeah. and that so, works. I could get some x-rays? <laughs> <laughs> they got some here. You can act like they're going to do it. Right. <clears throat> These were taken here? Yep. Yeah. Oh, cool. Guess it doesn't work like that. We've got to go through and, you know. I could actually Some see about it. To put out. <clears throat> nice. So, what are the pranks that happen in here? He usually leans up against the wall over here. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when you're walking up through here, he'll come running out at you. Ooh. Just to scare you. Okay. One of uh, Darla and I, about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, we was taking some old mattresses out and throwing them into the dumpster that was out here. She was pushing and I was pulling and I was walking like this backwards. As soon as we turned that curve up there in the corner and got away from the camera, nobody could see us, you know, down through here. All of a sudden, I landed on my butt. Ooh. He tripped me. And then, of course, once I fell, the mattress fell, and she landed flat down on the mattress. So we come on down through here with it, and I told him, I said, don't be tripping me no more. Please, <laughs> you know, let <laughs> us get this done. So we come back down through here with another mattress. It was like a big queen-size mattress. She, I was on this end, and she was on that end, and we got right here in this doorway past it, and all of a sudden, it folded up. Ooh. And me and her was right face-to-face. He ran into the mattress. Oh, boy. That would have freaked me out. <laughs> I was like, all right, now, quit it. But all he does is he just likes playing jokes on people. Okay. And this room here, it'll go right back over into that x-ray. It's another imaging room, number two. It just don't have the machines in there. 
So you experience all kinds of fun in here. Yes, there is a <laughs> lot of stuff you can experience in here. Over here is the waiting room for the ER over here. But there is also what they call a body box in here. I'll move that back up toward the nurse's station. Because we do have a little leak that comes through here sometimes. Okay. Alright, let's say the people, you're back in the day in here and you're sitting in here waiting on your family member. And then you get up and go to the bathroom. You know, and then there was a four door, four drawer more in here at one time. It was down, what I said was, used to be geriatrics, but Come to find out it wasn't geriatrics. Okay. It's the uh, classroom and physical therapy. But um, when that when that would get overfilled. Oh. Do you I don't know if it was a tap or a little whisper. <laughs> Are you coming to visit? Oh, there it goes again. That was my stomach right now. I feel that. Yes, ma'am. Down at the body box. Okay, I'm on my way. Wow, good t good timing. Copy that. That was, was kind of startling. <laughs> but let's say you come in here to use the bathroom. We when we found out that they used this area here as a body box, when they had no more room over in the four door, the four drawer more. They would bring them, there was a doorway, would bring them out over to here and they just line them up in here. And they do get, with like a spirit box. They get active? Yes, they get yeah. a, Interesting. Yeah, in here. Wow, look, you got the, the old emergency yes, sign. Yes, there's that one here. They, oh. they didn't want to put it up outside, oh. you know, the teenage neighborhood kids or whatever, destroy it. There is another one we have on the wall in the hallway. Okay. Now, when was this hospital like decommissioned? Like when it was like when they closed it down? Yeah, yeah. In ninety eight. Ninety eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. The reason why they closed it down is because as the times went on, you know, they didn't have the all the equipment or whatnot, you know, to mm -hmm. take care of stuff. And then that's when they uh, they were building what they called Grandview at the time, but it's Park Ridge oh. over there. We don't know if he, it was a tick or a whisper he heard. Yeah, I heard it right behind me, like over here. And then it happened again. And then my stomach growled. <laughs> right. yeah. um, when I when I got to the intersection there at the nursing station, uh -huh. on the side of the hallway, I went that way to put the balloon down. Something walked, come down my hall behind me. Did it? Yep. I wonder if it was the, the creature that, I don't know, either the, the prankster or the one that I seen. Um, Is it the big one? No, they, I, I didn't see them. I just heard them, heard footsteps. But uh, yeah, but they like to. You will get that a lot. Okay. Yeah, yeah. a whole lot. Awesome. You know, Angel. Gets I'm a excited. Lot of, lot of shadow play. Yeah. And what she was calling a shadow hall is what we walked down. When I said where the prankster was. Yeah. All down through there is the shadow hall. Okay. Yeah. We could be sitting up there. And then see all kind of shadow down through here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is where I've seen mine. Yeah. Oh, there's the balloons. Cool. Yeah. Thank you for setting that up. And th okay. those will get played with As sometimes? As it darker, it will be real dark down through here. Okay. okay. It'll be, <laughs> it's daytime and it's dark. It'll be, yeah. Well, it'll be so dark you won't be able to see your feet. There's another x-ray room. This is the ER. There is two mannequins in this hospital. Oh, this gosh. That scared yeah. the crap yeah. out of me. <laughs> You can get your buddy now. Yeah. Uh, the volunteer that we had at the time when we done the, this ER, a lot of this stuff was donated to the hospital. And she tried to get it back to as much as the emergency room as possible. Okay, that's super cool. Mm -hmm. And I think it was, wasn't it a two-bed emergency room? Yeah, it's a two-bed emergency room. Yeah. And mm. I thought it was cool. I was breathing. You know, like some of that stuff, the pictures from the uh, Historical Society. Mm -hmm. When this place, when it first opened, it was 33 beds. 
Is that it? 33-bed facility. State-of-the-art 33-bed yeah. facility. See, we haven't got all of it down packed yet. Yeah. But they're the ones yeah. that's doing the historical thing is getting it all, and they're going to be making a new thing for us to tell. Yeah, for well, the we tours. know. Okay. And then it ended up 108 beds, I think. Yeah. Believe. Now, these doors here are offset. That yellow balloon has moved a little bit. It is. It was leaned more towards this way. Oh, that's pretty close. To the I place. recorded it, so I'll be able to look back and see. That'd be cool. Yeah, I finally got a, a picture of hands wrapped around one that was right here one night. Did you? Yeah. See how these doors are all set right here? That one's oh, yeah. over that way, and this uh -huh. is this way. Uh -huh. This is, like I said, the Shadow Hall. These were like doctor's offices down through there. Um, this was the... You in there working? <laughs> I heard something. Oh, you did? Uh huh. This is um the clinic. Uh, I'm sorry, a lab. They had their own little lab here. Is there any spirits here? Working? You can come say hello. I'm friendly. Promise you, I mean you no harm. Want to just tell your story? Your stomach's growling too, huh? Yeah, just burping. <laughs> um, they're more likely to go in some of these doors, but we've okay. got just junk in some of them right now until we can get it emptied. Thank you. Um, there's the pharmacy, and there goes my flashlight. Cool. The pharmacy. My um, my teammate and I. We um, trying to get this back to his close as possible to the pharmacy. All these pill bottles that's in here, my other, the founder of SRT, his wife worked at CVS at the time. Oh, okay. And she, she got all those, cleaned them. There's no residue or nothing yeah. in them, but cleaned them out and donated them to the hospital. Super cool of her. Um, here was the in-house uh, pharmacy. Yeah, they would okay. like you'd, they would come in. This is what they called the tri state. Yeah, tri tri city tri city clinic, mm -hmm. and uh, they um, would come in and see the doctor, and then he'd give them medicine. He'd mm -hmm. walk over and yeah. get it and give it to them. Oh, I got you. Have you guys These, ever thought of like setting up like cameras, like uh, like live streaming cameras, like where? <laughs> Like you can just maybe try to catch Year, things. Years ago, years ago, they used to have live stream cameras, but yeah. Ronnie ain't got that for you. Yeah, yeah, he's. They've come a long way. They're like so much yeah. cheaper now. Oh, I know. Um, like that'd be amazing. so cool. Like, and it, what they they pick up motion. Yeah. And then yeah. anytime you get some motion, like you could probably catch one of those See, shadows. See, um, those dark spots right through there on the walls. Yeah. That's got some screws still into the walls. Uh -huh. That's why we've got this blocked off. Oh, I got you. Just we for safety. Tell, yeah, for safety right yeah. now. I mean, there's so much to explore, oh, so yeah. I'm, I, well, I won't be time, upset. The very cool. first time I ever came here, when we were doing you know, our tour of Watford, I'm always the one that gets, I'm the furthest, you know, I'm the furthest one in here, closest <laughs> to the action. And we were down, down at the very end right there. There's another hallway that goes that way, or it goes into records or something mm -hmm. and I was standing there and had my back and I was like facing this way and uh, my friend that was with me you know I could feel somebody behind me uh -huh. and I asked Lee I asked for something she didn't answer me and I asked for you she didn't answer me and when I went to turn around in that hallway it was right here <gasps> it was I don't want to call it a shadow I don't know what to call it I don't know what to call it shadow or apparition or what but it was so black, but I could see its face. Yeah. You know, and its where eyes was that? Mouth, at? Right down, right down there at the very end of the hall. Okay. Uh, in front of that brown door, there's another door, uh, like a hallway that goes that way. And it was right there. But it was standing there and just looked at me, blinked, that had the prettiest blue eyes. Oh, wow. And I just went, hello, and turned around. I was down here by myself. They were all down there turning to the right, headed to the nurse's station. And I thought, I'm not, I don't know why, but I turned back around and faced that door. And as I turned around, it was still there. And I'm like, oh. And I looked at that door and I thought, oh, man. And when I turned. the door. Yeah, when I turned back 
turned back. He, he was there for just a second. I was like, all right, I'll see you later. And as I was turning, I was my eye, I saw him just poof. Just left. That was the very first time. He didn't say anything to you or anything? No, no, didn't say a word, but just was right here. And just looking at me, just blinking. Wow. You know, and it was wild because it had Todd Eskew's eyes. Really? Yes. And then. Do you think it was friendly? Yeah. 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 If it wasn't friendly, it had me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, he had me. And then in the pharmacy, that was where Jim flirted with me about my southern accent. I like your southern accent, by the way. I think Thank it's you. cool. And then. Where are you from? Florida. Florida. Oh, yeah. What part? Uh, Tampa Bay Tampa. area, okay. yeah. It was my best friend. He's in Jacksonville. Jacksonville? Down close to St. Augustine. Okay, that's pretty over there. Oh, yeah. A little bit more north. That right there, and you see the blue in there, that used to be what they had was a dentist mm -hmm. office at the time. Oh, nice. Yeah, this was the waiting room. Yeah, waiting room for the pharmacy and stuff like that. This is where we did our, um, so we started doing that wonder box with Josh. It was in here. Mm -hmm. In and, this room. And all this, this was not this nice. No, no, uh, no, yeah. no, no. None of it was. Just I'm really excited to like see this place. Yeah, looks so much better. It's amazing. Ronnie's Ronnie's an amazing man. Mm -hmm. Is Ronnie the owner? He, yeah. he, okay, he's, he, he's from Chicago. I spoke with him. He was very friendly with oh, me. Yeah. yeah. He is. He's an orderer, but he's, he's yeah, friendly. yeah, friendly. <laughs> <laughs> friendly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you want to go see the Foss Chapel? What they call the Foss Chapel? Yes. Okay. Well. I'll stand at the top of this book. Well, Wait, you I'm, said I'm, false chapel? Yeah. It's not real. You'll see why I call it. We call it the false chapel. Yeah. Okay. This here is just records and stuff where they used to keep all the paperwork and stuff. Um, and we decided we would probably like just turn this into like office, the kids and stuff, you know, how you would think it would be just more file stuff. Um, and in here, it's this is another record room, but if, say, so like, you get over in this area, these will move. Kind of yes, slide back and forth. But if you hear something. What is that? Oh, gosh. Just to let yeah, you know, it will rattle. Yeah. <laughs> that's not a ghost. Okay. <laughs> it's it will just, rattle. The, and if you hear a little yeah. drip every now and then, yeah, we have things. a roof leak over here. That's so creepy. Okay, that's actually really creepy, but yeah, it's, but like, it's, no, it's, gonna do it. it's, it's cool, though. <laughs> Thought it was a snake or something. No, oh man, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm we have a little snake. roof leak. Okay. Right there, so it's not bad now. Yeah, and it had been serene and real bad. But he's working on it slowly as he can. Like I said, he's from Chicago. He comes in every so often, every other week, two or yeah. three weeks. Just be careful when you go down the steps here. Oh shit, we're going down here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you, remember, do you remember when we okay. were before the room that had all the, the church pews? Uh, I don't think I went down there. Not a lot of it might have been so bad. Yeah. Because, you know, I don't know when I came. I was doing it. You do get stuff down in here. Yeah. There was somebody that had took a picture. I don't know how long. It's been a while back. Well, over on this wall, right, right here, in the picture, it showed a woman sitting in a chair. Ooh. Over in that pit, right in there. Wow. Now, I, I've got some pretty cool pictures yeah. down here. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, this was just like an overflow room of records and stuff, and they just yeah. turned okay. it into. Where did these church pews stuff. come from, though? They came from a church. They was uh, they had. Had too many, and they was ordering new ones, and they just brought these over for storage, and they just ended up staying. Oh, okay. It's kind of like that person that borrows your jacket and never gives it back to you. Yeah. And you end up keeping it. Yeah, it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But that's cool. Yeah. So they pretty much donated them. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Church pews, are, they're, I, I like them. Like, you go into churches now, and they just have chairs now. Like, church pews are comfy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are. And those are like really comfy because they've got a cushion. All right. And it's being curved wood. Did we shut that door, honey? Huh? No, it was okay. open. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They got it blocked open. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I thought it removed. Yeah, I'll be right back around. Yes, yeah, you can go out that door the way we came in, or you can just yeah. And and this this is cool. This is a an actual menu from yeah, nineteen ninety eight. Oh, nice. It was the last year? Mm-hmm. Hey, look at that. 50 cents. Wait, is that, or is that 50 calories? Hot cereal. Sorry, Sorry. 25. Did you have that? Yes. In there? Uh-huh. That went off again? Something did. No, no, it wasn't in there. It was something. It was just like a... Sound like a kid. A kid. Well, I heard a noise, but I, I thought yeah, it, it was, was maybe like, you saying something. Like a ring? You know, but... Oh, wow. We'll get some play of kids in here. There's one little girl that goes to here looking for her mama. Oh boy. Hello? Are you Before you around? Yeah. Follow me and say you can you can. Before you came out here there was a thump. Okay. Uh, and I don't I don't think you heard it. It was like a boom. Yeah, I mean it's I might have caught it. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, you, you get nice to the sounds that you get in here. There won't be nobody but you know, a couple of you in here. And y'all be together. And you'll hear yelling. Like off in the distance. Or, or a woman screaming like she's having a baby. Mm -hmm. Off in the distance. Or a door will slam off the hinges right behind there. There has oh, been God. times that we've been here, like when we used to be able to stay overnight. The investigators could years ago. They would people talk about here like a gurney or something. Oh, yeah. oh, when I at the nurse station, station on mm -hmm. uh, one night we were there and we heard it was it was a gurney, and you know we heard it going by, or it might have been a food cart. And then a little while after that. Uh, on the third, you know, we were still at the nurse's station. And on, the third, your buddy. on the third floor, okay. we heard. I hope it's uh, <laughs> You heard something yeah. too, right? I heard that. Uh, yeah, we heard running footsteps above us, uh -huh. and it sounded like furniture moving. And then a few hours later, you know, we were sitting at the nurse's station, me and these four ladies. Your K2 so, meter's going crazy uh, right now. Oh, is it? Yeah. So, is he still, is he still doing the tour? Yeah. I, I think we're almost done, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you, all, you want me to take you on it to the third floor? Or you yeah, remember? yeah. And I can, everything that we um, that we got, like, I, I can listen to it again here. Yeah. And then I can share some of the stuff with him. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool, I've already... You got... I've caught, like, a gang of PPPs already. Really? Yeah. Uh, when he's, he's been here... I've been catching some stuff on here, too. I, just, I believe yeah. it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's pretty active. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's you might you might get something one minute, and then there might be times you don't get nothing. It's just like fishing. Oh yeah, you yeah. know, a hit and a miss. That's why we just spend as much time as we can. Like so that. Oh. What do you say? You didn't hear that? Yeah, I guess. What are you hearing? It was I don't know. It was like a um like a yell or something. Yeah, like a ooh. Yeah. Way off. Yeah. 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 That's what I was listening for. So right down this hallway, bro. Like mm -hmm. and look, look. and and I I caught it. My oh wow! <laughs> there was a, a figure that started like running towards us, mm -hmm. but and and come to find out, that's like a, a known thing here. Oh, oh yeah. wow! Yeah, he, yeah, he, he, he nice. likes to do that to try to see what kind of reaction he can get. And there's one that haunts this room. That's a prankster. Where, where is it? The, right here. Okay, wrong room. Yeah, okay, this one right here. And and like, bro, so he that's messes a, like a, a little bit of a hot spot. Big big time hot spot. Okay. They okay. went and, and looked her right in the face. Yeah, cool. yeah, the very yeah. first time I ever came here. Awesome. It was right here. You know, I'm going to go, I'm gonna go down there and go dark. Yeah, just yeah go for it. Me. I'm going to like walk in there and just, just turn it off light. Just blink in his eyes. Right, right up in your here. face. Yeah. <laughs> just keep nice. rolling. You're scared of the crap out of it. Keep rolling. The ER the ER's fairly active. Dude. I love it. There is two mannequins in this building. One is in the ER and one is on the floor. You weren't supposed, supposed to tell him. You weren't supposed to tell <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. But I don't know. Nothing scares him. He's, he's pretty <laughs> oh, savage. Cool. Oh, cool. I get startled and then I'm like, oh wait, okay. <laughs> Sounds like my husband. <laughs> Even with ghosts, like I don't, I might get a little startled, but then I'm like, I go, I go towards it. <laughs> yeah. Now, 
I used to be able to say stuff when I was growing up, and when I seen my grandfather, his full body apparition walking behind my dad's car one night, mm. it scared me, because he had passed away like four months prior. Mm-hmm. And it scared me, and I mentally blocked everything out. Oh, wow. Even till this day, you kind of block things off? No, I'm starting to open myself back Oh, good. Up. Good. Oh, let me catch you. Can I take one? Oh, look, look, look. It's going off. Yep, can I take one, Grady? So, Missy put these balloons here, and they have glow. Oh, you have glow sticks mm-hmm. in them, too. So, oftentimes, they get played with. You don't think that's from the phone? Oh, like, no, my huh? phone's on airplane. Oh, it's on airplane mode. Okay, wow. So it's just going off. Yeah. And mine's right here. I ain't got it on airplane mode, but I'm not close Yeah, to yeah. It. If you're here with us, can you move that balloon? Maybe just give it a little, a little kick. Use all your energy right now. Go for it. Go ahead, move one of those balloons. Show him you can do it. Yeah, show him how you can play with them. Roll it from side to side. Is it usually a kid that they see? Ask again, maybe they're not here with us right now, which is okay. Oh, look, it's moving! Mm-hmm. Look, it started moving. Yeah, thank you. Wow, 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 look, 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 look. You startled him, but yeah, yeah. see, there you look, go. Whoa, yeah. thank you. Whoa, thanks. And look at this cheap higher finish right out. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. It's like, all right, like, I'll move it for you. Don't leave. Oh, that was, that was him. Okay. That was him. He's shutting that door. So he blocked us out. <laughs> that was so cool. Thank you so much. We're going we're gonna to come back. All right? And you can share your story with me, maybe with a spirit box session or something. And I've got cat balls if you want to play with one of them. They're real great guys. You'll enjoy them. Just give them a good time tonight, okay? <laughs> Me too. That was cool. Yeah. There's no air circulating. No, I don't feel any air at all. That fan's like this way, but it ain't. Yeah. I'm no. This it's way. actually really hot. <laughs> yeah. And when y'all get on your own, if y'all yes. want to turn your fans off, you're more welcome. Okay. Yeah, we might do that just to, yeah, just to cut make it where it's completely silent. Yeah. But it's pretty silent throughout this whole place. Yeah. Fan might not be a bad thing, like to cool off here. Oh, <laughs> right. Um, also, if you get turned around in here, if you remember, elevators are facing the front of the building. <laughs> okay. And there is no power at all to the elevators. And I've heard it ding. <gasps> My K2 just keeps going off. Are you right here with me? Are you hanging out with me? You are? Well, thank oh, look you. at that. Look at that. Thank you. Can you make this meter go back up? Light it back up, please. It's all right. Yeah. He's come to visit you. He came all the way from Florida to visit with y'all. He thinks awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow, look. Oh, my oh, red's so are red. Cool. Thank you. What? It did it. It trucked right towards me. No way. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Yo. Yeah, I, was, I was about to give up. I went dark, and as soon as I turned my light on, it just started like, yo, you gotta, you gotta check out these balloons. So I was getting ready to walk up and I'm like, Hey, uh, maybe I'll come back later. It's not moving. And the green balloon right in front of me started moving like no yeah. clickbait started going side to side Her EMF started go or K2 started going off crazy, like all crazy. 
Yeah. That's so cool. Thank you for uh, communicating with us and moving those balloons. Thank you. Yeah, look, it's. Thank you so much. Thanks for saying hi on the K2. And thanks for saying hi to, to my buddy Jody back there, yeah, too. Yeah. If that's the same one. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to go finish doing the tour, but we'll Round come back. Is that okay? He'll come back, too. We'll, we'll come back and play with you some more. Okay? See you in a little while. Thank you. Wow. That's awesome. Super cool. Up here at the nurses' station, we have a break room that it used to be respiratory years ago. Uh, but we turned it into the break room. Uh -huh. What keeps going on? Yeah. Are you coming? Are you coming with me? It's okay if you are. Right. So you, got, you guys do have cameras. Well, that that means that's not ours. That's ours. Oh, it's a dummy camera. I, I got some of those too. <laughs> yeah. We've got them here. Yeah, we've got one. Have you guys caught anything on it? Oh, Lord. Yeah. I, yeah. Like, I watch the cameras all the time. Look at here. Oh, big. All the way to red. Thank you. Are you, go, are you going with us on the us. tour? That's all right, buddy. Come on. It's okay. Um, this is, of course, the nursing station. Okay. Uh, this room right here, uh -huh. there was a black nurse years ago named Betty. Uh -huh. She had went to the bathroom on her shift and was in there for about two hours. Nobody noticed her missing. Two hours were up. They was like, where did Betty go? They went in there and found her. She had died from a heart attack. It was oh, there no. for two hours. That's terrible. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, this and she was Betty, a nurse. Yes, yes. this is where the MVPs of Nurse Betty. Yeah, this is a very active area right here. What have you guys caught in here? Um, other spirit, uh, spiritus uh -huh. sessions. Here, I mean, and have had just nearly full on calls. Hey, your thing is going yeah. crazy. Maybe, is that you, Betty? Yeah, Nurse Betty, is this you? No? Yeah. Are you working? Are we disturbing you? No? Well, I can't wait for nighttime. <laughs> this here, these are the ICU rooms. I'm just going to show you where the break room is real quick. Um, this room right here is another working bathroom on the second floor. There's no light in there. Well, unless it's charged up. We have solar lights. I wonder, I'm going to sit it over here till the, till the, till there is no more sun. Yeah. <laughs> just, okay. Yeah, rest and Jeep. This room here, these are the break room. And we have a little refrigerator in here. If you have anything you need to charge. Okay. Some electricity. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. These outlets on the wall up here. You're more than welcome to get some. All right. And we have a little refrigerator. I don't oh, need to. <laughs> but if you've got something, you want to keep going. You guys used to have a bunch of names on this wall, mm -hmm. too. Yep. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. The uh, hallway down there by the uh, body box. Mm -hmm. Right. And all the way down that hallway used to have writing all on it. Yeah, Didn't, like, some celebrities write on those uh -huh. walls, too? Like, and Zach Bagans, too. Zach Bagans yeah. and all them used to write off. And, have and you guys painted, like, yes. painted off? Sun's trying to come back through. The way the light will hit it every now and then, you can see it. So oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, right here. We got to go back over it. But I mean, just, you know, you can't see it like this unless the light hits it. Right, right. Certainly. I know my name's on it somewhere, too. <laughs> <laughs> my name was in so fast. Yeah. <laughs> you will get some way down through here, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when I came um, out to the balloons. Yeah. Uh, when I came out, I came out of the room, uh, down in the stairwell. Oh, you know what I caught down here? So there's some bells that were on a door. Yeah. And I, I caught them like they rung. Yeah. Genuine. Yeah. Yeah. Has that ever happened? Have you guys yeah. ever witnessed yeah, that? Yeah, we've got some yeah, we've got in some spots. It was at the, it was the room all the way at the end. Yeah, that's uh, Tennessee Red Tracks room. Now up on the third floor. Yeah, yeah. Was it the, of these rooms here we've got on padlock. 
Okay, maybe it was the third floor that I'm yeah, talking sir, about. I'm probably talking about Nelly's friend. Right? Yes, yes. Nelly. The um, what's her? What's Nelly. Her? Nelly. Nelly. <laughs> yeah. Nelly the ghost. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah Nelly the ghost. <laughs> Nelly the ghost. What's the story with Nelly? Because I, I mean, I remember, had, but uh, but I don't remember. Dementia. Had dementia. Had uh, dementia patient. We can go up this. She way. had a dementia yes, patient. Well, she, she was. She had, had dementia. dementia. Oh, she had dementia. Yeah, she had dementia, and uh, of course, she was a patient. We can go up this side. We'll be right beside Nelly's room. Okay. All right. I cannot wait. This, that was this was actually my favorite room. Nelly. I felt the most in this room. Yeah. Yeah. We right here on the bar. You start thinking, sick. Oh, okay. Did that happen to a lot of people? Um, mostly women. Okay, I, I never felt um, like that up here, but I mean. You know, or if it just, like, get super dizzy or just not yourself. There's no one. Yes. We rearranged it ourselves, too. So, yeah, there was some bells mm -hmm. hanging from this, this doorknob, and they rung. Right here. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh, cool. Hi, Nellie. Those bells rung. Nellie, can you can you ring those bells for me again? She likes for her door to be open. Okay. Wow. If you shut it, she will open it back up. You want to open the door, Nellie? Not doing that to provoke you, just uh, letting you do a little exercise today. You know, my teammate Daniel has uh, come up and closed it once, and he came down and talked to her. He said, <clears throat> Miss Nellie, I want to shut the door to make it darker out in the hallway. Uh -huh. And he said, I promise I'll come and open it when we get done. Wait for it to time he got halfway up the hallway. The door's open. It opened. <clears throat> he had to turn around and come back down. Wait, did it open a little bit? Looks Okay. There is a man that comes up here. He comes about once a month. There's some uh, red flower, uh, real flowers right there in that vase, but they're dead. He was up here and he had got uh, with a uh, EVPs. He got EVP and he asked her if she liked flowers, and she said yes, roses. And mm. he said what color? And she said red. Ooh. So every time he comes into town, he stops by, and goes, gets a dozen of red roses, and brings them. Away. What a sweet guy! And when people bring stuffed animals and bring stuffed animals in here and gives to her. They found her in this corner here, dead. Oh, this is where she passed away. Mm -hmm. Yep. So sorry to hear of your passing, Nellie. I have a family member whose name is Nellie, and she's a really nice, nice lady. Thank you for letting us come visit your room. Maybe we could come visit again later. Maybe you could ring those bells for me again. That'd be awesome. You can do it when they're up here investigating by themselves. <laughs> I'm gonna open the door up, Miss Nellie. Good to see you later. I got bells right there, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's some places where there's bells hiding in the ceiling, too. Wow. There is, uh, I did hear about one guy, I think it was this room. There was a man that was a patient in this room and he had gotten up out of his injury. He was standing up here and he was wanting to kill himself. Mm. He took off from this room, ran from this room, ran and jumped out that window. That window was open, but he is not real, real high. But so he didn't know, die? No, just broke both of his legs. 
Oh, shoot. So, I mean, you know, we found that out by the nurse the other weekend, this, this past weekend. Oh, wow. Oh, you just, so you're always finding out, like, new info information. When we get the new nurse, the nurses come up here, we love it because they tell us yeah. certain Nurses yeah, that used to work here? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Do you ever get patients that used to, we, you know? We've had um, people that were born here. Yeah, oh, the nice. last baby that was born here, I think it was in 89, wasn't it? Believe 87 or 89, the last baby that was born here, she was one of the, uh, she came and visited the hospital about a month ago. Okay. She wanted to come and just check everything out. And when we found out she was the last baby born, we was like, wow. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, Saturday when we were doing the day tour, the doors were shut. And we went in Nellie's room. And then when we were coming back down, I was standing right here, and the guy that was, you know, part of, that was, it's him and his wife. Uh -huh. He was standing about like on the other side, other end of the door, right there beside me, and the door started going. Oh, wow. You know, well, something, it was like something was just pulling on you know, yeah. it like that. And, you know, I turned and looked at it and just looked up at him, and he was sitting his eyes back there around. <laughs> and he looked, he looked at me, he said, you saw that, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. This room here, 308. This guy that lived in, stayed in this room, his name was Wayne. He was an alcoholic. And he ended up dying of cirrhosis of the liver. Mm -hmm. We would come in here. You can't get a little bit of EVPs from Wayne in here. People has come in and left a cigarette laying on the windowsill over there. Here, Wayne, do you want a cigarette? What about a cup of coffee? You know, nobody's ever offered him alcohol, you know, but they do offer him coffee, water, cigarettes. I think Wayne would really like a beer. <laughs> he probably would. <laughs> it's the middle of the time. <laughs> Look how pretty the sun is shining on the mountain. Yeah. It's getting ready to set there in a little bit. Yep, and it'll be yeah. dark for up here. It, yeah, oh, yeah, see how dark it is on that end down there? Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's like that down through here, too. But you'll still see shadows. Yeah, lots of them. Well, <laughs> closest to, uh, real close to where I live, there's a, a really nice river, and there's yeah. a boat and called Cirrhosis of the River. Really? Oh, <laughs> a friend of mine used to have a houseboat, and he named it Aquaholic. Aqu <laughs> Aquaholic. Yeah, of course, this is the nursing station. We got props up here. You're more than welcome to use them. Put them anywhere. Okay. Uh, the other dummy that I was, the mannequin. The other mannequin? Okay. The, dummy. the other dummy is yeah. right here in this bed. Oh, yeah. isn't this the original yeah. nursery? The original nursery is right here. Like, yeah. yeah. Right okay. Right it's where the babies would be mm -hmm. at the windows, and they put yeah. little stickers and have your name on it. Yep. And if you go in this way, there could be some shards of glass in there, so okay. just be careful. Good to know. Look at all the little trigger objects and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Cool. Any? Darla, my teammate, she mm -hmm. came up about, what was it, two weekends ago and brought her grandson up here. Oh, yeah. And he's not even two yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And but she was... didn't have no bad feelings of coming up here. Mm -hmm. If she had him, she wouldn't have brought him up here. That's good. Yeah. So you could bring a kid here. And... Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I've been right. some places where yeah, she said kids get hurt. She was yeah. telling me Saturday that up here, um, they were down by Nellie's room. And he was, he was running down there. Remember? He said that he got, or no, it was down on the first floor at the POW room. said he was running down the hall. And right when he got at the POW room, he stopped and just looked. And looked back at her and then looked back and was looking like up. I think, you know, somebody, but she said he never would go in there, mm -hmm. but she said he just kept, he would stop in front of the POW room every time and, and look, you know, like oh, something wow. would grab his attention in there. To get into the nursery, you can go in this way, over here, this way to it. And uh, there was this doorway right here, it goes into the, um, what was that, uh, one bed, like a new, yeah, you know, the baby, the Nick, or whatever they call it. Nick. Nick, you. Nick, you. Yeah. And, and it's in there, it, so. Which cabinet is it? No, it's in here. What about it? Um, that cabinet. I think it's here. One of these cabinets. I don't know 
Oh, which one it was now? What was it? Uh, it still smells like baby powder. Uh, oh, cool. All these years, you know, all these years, and it still smells like baby powder. Must have been a lot of baby powder. <laughs> yeah. I go again. Okay. Are we, we're on the third floor still? Yep. Okay. I'm going to take you over to the uh, award three, two, and one. It's usually one, two, and three we go to. <laughs> yeah. Um, there is Dr. We call him Dr. O. Mm. He's up here a lot. And so That's a cool guy name. is up here a lot. This was the labor and delivery room. Darla and I was in here one day cleaning, scrubbing the walls. And uh, we, she was up on the ladder getting high and I was on getting low. We was the only two in this hospital at the time we was cleaning and all of a sudden we heard a blood curling scream, mm -hmm. female. And we stopped what we was doing, looked it up each other and I was like, uh, we got to hurry. So we was finishing up and we heard it again. Mm -hmm. Heard it twice? Yes, yeah. needless to say, it wasn't long I left. I left yeah. out of that room. <laughs> it, it was in this room where you heard the yeah, scream? Yeah, we heard the scream because I mean, this was labor and delivery where they would also do C-sections. Well, probably you know, women that passed away. Oh, a lot of screaming. Can you scream for us again? Maybe later? There you have it, fam. That was our little mini investigation, as well as you know, just kind of a tour of the old South Pittsburgh Hospital. This is an amazing place. I encourage you to check it out for yourself if you want to come to Omar, Omar Omar's favorite place. All right, the sun just went down. I mean, not that it's already not dark in here. I mean, it's a pretty dark place. But we're going to start investigating uh not gonna lie, when we were on the third floor, I remember how the, the I think it was Missy, she was saying, you know, hey, like if you get sick and, you know, it's usually women that, that do so. Well, I mean, I've been up there before. And when we were in Nellie's room, I mean, I, I, I didn't feel that way. However, I started getting dizzy. I mean, not sick to my stomach, not nauseous or anything like that. And I'm still, I'm still feeling that way. I even got a headache, so. I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping this does okay. We still have several hours here. Uh, from some of the pictures that, I believe it's Sam, she showed me this picture of a of a crawler guy on the floor, and you're not supposed to say his name. I, I was almost trying to get her to tell me the name, and she she wouldn't. And yeah, he can become very aggressive here. Well, we're gonna pay special attention down there, I'm probably gonna do a maybe a VR video or something. Um, I don't know, it depends how the how the night shapes out. Jody and I, we're gonna completely split up in here and be alone. Uh, should be fun. We're locked. Bro. We're already locked in. We're locked in. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. All right, man. It's gonna be a fun adventure. Thank you so much again for your support and wish us luck. Gotta go for now before we leave. Give me keys. Peace.